Are any of you, Steve, I'm looking at you, comfortable of sharing mistakes or failures that you've made along the way and what you oh, learned from them? Yeah, sure. Um, so I, I ran a company prior to the one that I'm at now, and uh, I, was, I was handling business development and started an uh, a, a, uh, online operations subsidiary for them. And that, that company crashed and burned. And unfortunately, with, with the way the games work, it's a very hit-driven business. So if your game doesn't take off, your, your company's over. And I feel that... Left for dead, so to speak. That was good. Yeah. Uh, see what you did there. Yeah. Um, but when, when I worked at that company, um, I found that I was an incredibly aggressive negotiator and took the position that, that you would either win or lose a deal. And I think that was a mistake. And, and now I realize the value of our partnerships that we have with other companies. And in order for those partnerships to be valuable, you have to make sure that they're getting something out of the deal as well. The deals that we had at the old company were so aggressive that the partner had no real hope of actually seeing an upside. And therefore, they weren't that invested in working with us in the future. Whereas now, we have partners where they do feel that they have an upside and we have an upside, and so that relationship is, is, is really tight and ingrained and will go on long term. So it, it was a real eye opener to realize that in a negotiation, you want to make sure the other party has something as well, because if they don't, they'll abandon you later. Yeah, that, that's really, and I would just say, I, I have spent the last two minutes thinking about what that video game would be like. The Left 4 Dead was totally entrepreneurial, and you had startup business as the game. Don't make that game. That's not a good game. But, uh, uh, but I think that's a really great point, and it's definitely something that's come up multiple times in my career as well. You know, when I was at the NFL, um, I obviously really good negotiators, and uh, they have done very well with their business. But there was also this continual hyper cognizance that uh, there's a limited set of partners you can work with, and you need them to be healthy. A healthy ecosystem benefits everybody. So uh, a hyper cognizance of the, uh, the 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 value exchange that happens in a deal and leaving something for the other side um, to, to keep them healthy, uh, which is not something the film industry does, I would say, is that um, yep. a lot of the film industry exists to, put, well, at least the way that it works is they put partners out of business. You have situations like a few years ago, Life of Pi was winning a bunch of Academy Awards for visual effects, while Rhythm and Hughes, the visual effects house that did all of mm -hmm. that work, was declaring bankruptcy literally at the same time. And that's kind of what the film industry has uh, done to its ecosystem, and it, it, it's a real challenge. Yeah, Rob, it's, Roger, any thoughts on failure? I'm sorry, you mean to cut? No. Alrighty then. <laughs> it, it, it's when someone's writing a check, um, and and that may sound a bit flippant, but it, it, it's true. Like the way the way our business works. I mean.